Hey Pisces, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the Pisces love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really, really good. Don't forget to check out uh, Vimeo and Patreon as well for extra content. They're not extended, it's actually different content. So go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested, okay? So Pisces, let's just dive right into the meditative session and then we're gonna go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we're gonna go ahead and do the tarot reading. If you're really, really new to my channel, uh, there's a lot of changes going on. There's a lot of changes going on, and I talked about that in the uh, live I did for New Year's Eve, so go ahead and check that out if you're curious as to what changes will be occurring if you're really, really new and you're like, what the hell's going on, okay? Um, so let's just dive in. Pisces, I got a lot of stuff for you in your meditative session. A lot of beautiful energy, I have to say. A lot of really beautiful stuff. Um, the beautiful energy has not hit most of you yet. Did I say that correctly? Has not hit most of you yet. Yeah, no, I said it right. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a second. Um, so just keep that in mind. We all work through energy differently. And when I'm talking about energy that I pick up in meditative ses sessions, hmm, sessions, uh, I'm basically picking up energy that is in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or somewhere within your environment, your physical environment, your energetic environment could be experiencing, and it can be reversed or vice versa, okay? So just keep that in mind as I give you these messages. And of course, they're not for everyone. I, I read for thousands of people, um, so just also know that. And if it's not your story, that's okay. Don't try to make it fit, okay? So Pisces, the first thing I saw was a wall of fire, like a wall of fire. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and I heard cleansed. Pisces, you have been cleansed. And like I said, a lot of you haven't hit this yet. But I will talk about uh, the energy I was picking up that I feel like precedes that. It's interesting because sometimes my guides will give me stuff backwards. Like sometimes they'll start me at the end and then they'll, they'll give me stuff that leads up to the end. Right? Like so going backwards. Anyway, Pisces, you've been cleansed. Okay. Um, and I really love this cleansing energy because it's it doesn't just feel like one aspect of you is being cleansed. It feels like a big, I wouldn't even say it's a purge. It's just kind of like, it happens really fast. Okay, I'll say it that way. It's like it happens really fast, but like, you, you handle it with such grace. Like, I just, it feels really good. It just feels really good. It feels really powerful. Some of you, this will be involving some minimalistic lifestyle choices. And I'll be talking about minimalism in a video. I need to do a video on it. Because as I was picking up on your meditative session, I was like, oh, shit, I wonder if they know what this is. <laughs> uh, some of you already do this. Some of you already... Um, embrace that way of living um and if you don't it's really just about only having the basics like only having what you really really need pisces okay um some of you would need to get rid of actual stuff okay some of you guys need to get rid of actual stuff some of you need to get rid of people you already know who you are i don't need to tell you who you are if you're in that boat you already know you're very aware um it's to create energetic space, okay? It's to create energetic space so that it allows you to have things that come in that are for your highest good, things that will benefit you. And Pisces, I feel like once you go through this cleansing, you're gonna have a really great flow of abundance. And I think you're gonna be really surprised that it, it really happens like, like it almost feels like it happens overnight. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. Like once you do this cleansing or, or, or cleanse in whatever way you need to be cleansed, abundance just naturally will flow to you. And when I talk about abundance, Sorry, I got my back. Uh, uh, everyone's been having some back and neck stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, okay, Pisces. Sorry. I'm back. Um, and when I talk about abundance, I don't mean just money. Okay. I mean stability, confidence, being content, being happy, having health. A lot of you, this is, will be involving your mental health or even your physical health, your spiritual health. That's what we mean when we talk about abundance. It's having more than enough resources to have stability in your life, okay? To have a roof over your head, to be able to feed yourself in a healthy way, right? And, and not excessive. It's just stability and whatever stability is to you, okay? It doesn't mean having millions of dollars. It means having more than enough to pay your bills, if we're talking finances, having more than enough to pay your bills and save some and invest in yourself or invest in something else. Like, that's what we mean when we talk about abundance. And I do feel like that will be flowing to you very naturally, very quickly, once you go through this cleansing. Some of you, like I said, it's about getting rid of stuff or people. I do feel for a lot of you, it's also about, like, no longer holding on to an idea or kind of, I don't want to even say if it's a fantasy. I don't even feel like it's a fantasy. I feel like it's just like 
an idea, an idea of a dream, like an idea of what you think your Ten of Cups would be, you know? Some of you, this is a person you are holding on to. Others, like I said, it's just an idea or that concept. And I feel like you've been holding on to it for so long or so tightly that you might not have been realizing, like, even though I think this will make me happy, it won't totally make me happy. You know what I mean? Like when we hold on to something so tightly and it's just like, that's my happy place. That's my happy place. That's my happy place. That's gonna make me happy. That's gonna make me happy. That's gonna make me happy. And we get dead set on it. Sometimes we don't realize that really won't truly make us happy or it's not really in our highest good, right? There's a reason, Pisces, that you've been holding on to it for so, t for so long or so tightly, but you haven't actually attained it because it won't actually make you happy. You know what I mean? Some of you are going to be realizing this about, like I said, a person or an idea or maybe like a way you wanted your life to be. And letting that go is going to create even more energetic space for you. Some of you, that's exactly what you need to do. Let go of an idea of what you think your Ten of Cups is because it's not your real Ten of Cups. I know, it's kind of deep. I know. I know it's kind of deep. Some of you, this is the energy that's preceding this cleansing, the energy that you're going to be dealing with before you go through, I don't want to say the wall of fire, but I think that's exactly what it was. It's kind of like through that massive cleansing and then abundance will flow naturally. And Pisces, once you do that cleansing, it's just going to be effortless. It will be effortless. And I'm really excited for you because that's beautiful energy to be in. Some of you, like I said, are still stuck in that gripping of a dream, gripping of what you think your Ten of Cups should be when you can actually have something way better or something way more amenable to who you really are and what will actually make you happy, okay? Some of you, this is a person, but you know who you are, okay? All right, let's get into the pre-shuffle, Pisces. Enough chitter chatter. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Thank you for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Losing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, we got a Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. This is having caution, going towards something in a slow manner to make sure that it's done right or built in the right way. Pisces, I feel like you need to slow down. That's interesting. I feel like you need to kind of like go at something in a slow way, the smart way the smart way that that um that saying how does it go um work smarter not harder work smarter not harder and i do feel like this is coming in after you go through that cleansing i don't feel like it's proceeding i feel like it's after that cleansing to go about something in a smart way not the hard way not with brute force not with a ton of energy just being smart and methodical about it knight of pentacles is all about abundance as well and that's exactly what i was feeling for you it's all about abundance I'm not taking those. Pleasing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, Pisces, we got a Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Oh, this is really interesting. Oh, I feel a splitting of the ways. Pisces, I feel a splitting of the ways here. Now, keep in mind, Virgo and Pisces, you're the one sevens of each other. This could have been a partner in business or love or friendship or what have you, but I do feel a splitting of the ways. I feel like two people going in different directions and in very different approaches as well. Pisces, one of you is this Knight of Pentacles where it's like that slow, methodical, work smarter, not harder. The other one is like balls to the wall almost with whatever they want to pursue, but I do feel splitting of the ways going on here. Please for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. This is, a, I'm hearing start over, hearing start over. Uh, Three of Pentacles is basically the energy that comes about when you're about to build a foundation. Someone wants to build this foundation and Pisces, I do feel like that's what this person wants, but I, I feel like you're letting them go. Yeah, I feel like you're letting them go. The, this side of cups, whatever they're pursuing, it involves other people or another person, whether that's you or someone else entirely. This person's looking to collaborate with other people and to build something. This person's pulling away from them out of caution. I can feel it. These two knights have very different ideas of what's best. 
And this Knight of Cups is hell bent on dealing with other people or working with other people to build something. But this Knight of Pentacles is very cautious of it. Interesting. Ew. That could be why. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. This is someone who is a little controlling. Someone who can be a little selfish. Someone could also be a little bit of a bully. A little persistent. Like, persistence doesn't always mean like a bully, but it's, it's, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much persistence here. Okay, yeah, Pisces. I really feel like you're the Knight of Pentacles here. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa, but... This person, I think, might have tried to work with you, or maybe you two were friends, coworkers, lovers, even family members. But I do feel like this person wanted was is hell bent on building something, and it wasn't your idea of of what that should look like. Like you had very conflicting ideas of what should be built and what it would look like and what the details would entail. This person's still hell bent on having that, so they're gonna go pursue that no matter no matter who it's with. But I feel like this Knight of Pentacles doesn't want anything to do with that. And I feel like this King of Pentacles in reverse is coming up to show the energy of this Knight where it is all about what they want and how things should look. I, I just feel an emphasis on money. It doesn't feel healthy, though. It's like materials, like a focus on materials. So, for example, if this person wanted to build a home with you, right? Their focus was on aesthetics, on the luxuries, that sort of thing, right? And you're like, that's not practical. <laughs> that's not my Ten of Cups. That's not my Ten of Cups. And maybe you tried really hard to deal with this person for a long time. And now you're realizing, I need to let this person go because clearly it's not my true Ten of Cups. That's their Ten of Cups. And our Ten of Cups are just very different. It's that, it's that kind of energy. Let's see what else wants to come out. Closing forward to messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh. We've got the Death card, Scorpionic Energy, and then we have the Chariot, uh, Cancerian Energy. This is a major transformation. I feel like this is your cleansing, Pisces. This is you having a rebirthing process, and then you're just going. Like I said, abundance will flow very quickly for you once you go through this cleansing. And letting go of this person... Letting go of this person who's hell-bent on what they want and what they need and them, 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 and whatever they're trying to build with other people. Not taking account what the other person wants, which I do feel like is you, Pisces. Once you let this person go or let the idea go of having it, of needing it to be with them, you're going to take off. You're going to have a rebirthing process and you are going to take off with that chariot card, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into your actual reading. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, you know how this works. The last time I got to do this spiel, it was very weird, actually, to be honest with you, that's the last time I'm doing this spiel. I'm not going away. I'm just no longer doing these kinds of readings. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so as you guys know, uh, these messages are very, very general. Okay, so messages come through for those who need to hear them. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. All right, you're going to make yourself crazy if you try to make every single tarot reading on YouTube fit. It, it's just it's just not for everybody it's not for everybody um also guys we are working with energy so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa we all have masculine and feminine energy so don't get caught up on the gender of the cards um what else time is not linear either so whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it okay i did that very fast <laughs> But I think you guys get the gist. If you have any other questions or concerns on how to in, how to understand the terminology that I'm using or what signs you should watch for yourself, go ahead and check out the link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, okay? It's a good little crash course. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Okay. Oh. oh, my back. All right. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. You're very clear on what you need to get rid of, is honestly what I'm getting with this. Uh, very clear on what you need to get rid of, who you need to get rid of, all of the cleansing and clearing out that you need to do, Pisces. Yeah, see, Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. What you need to let go of, what you need to release, what you need to release from your environment. 
I feel like it's more environment than anything else, but that can also be your energy field. That can be your emotional body. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love? <laughs> I just heard spring cleaning came early. Maybe I'll, I'll title that, uh, title this video that. Ah, oh my God. I can't wait till I can speak properly again. Any other messages for Pisces? see here oh oh my we've got the lovers gemini energy and then we have the page of pentacles uh lovers is a divine soul connection it's a guided soul connection it can also mean a decision here with the page of pentacles that's a very studious energy it's looking at something in a new way and a new perspective you're looking at a connection you have with someone pisces in a new way and doing that is allowing you to re and honestly it feels like doing that is allowing you to release it or at least release what you at least release <laughs> whatever it is you need to clear out of your energy field but it is looking at a connection in a new way okay Let's see what else wants to come out for you guys any other messages for pisces how to utilize the connection that's interesting that just came up how to actually utilize this connection for your benefit what Ooh, pisces it doesn't feel manipulative. I, I felt some of you guys go, what? <laughs> I, I doesn't feel manipulative. I mean, let's just be real, right? It's like we have these friendships. We have these working relationships. We have lovers. We have soulmates. We have family members, We you know, friends, whatever. We have all these different kinds of relationships. And they come into our lives for a different reason. And Pisces, maybe the, what you were holding on to regarding this person, again, was an idea that you thought was in your benefit. By the end of the day, it wasn't. Right. And I think part of that is also recognizing the true purpose of that person in your life. And you're realizing that. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? That maybe this person is better as a friend than a lover. Or maybe they should have been a lover and they were a friend. I feel like it's more the former. Yeah, I feel like it's more the former that, you know, I wanted this person to be my, my end all be all. I wanted this person to be my wifey, my hubby, or my lifelong partner, whatever it is, right? And maybe you're realizing it needs to be more casual to have the most benefit from it. Any other messages for Pisces? Oh, hold on, drop the card. Okay. Ooh, five of pentacles, Taurian energy. Wow, and then we have a queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air. I keep hearing fire. I keep hearing fire. It could be you know, the fire sign. You could have that in your chart, uh, but it's actually water, okay? Yeah, I. You're, you're cutting out the way you view this relationship. You're cutting out the way you view this person and the way that you deal with them, okay? With this five of pentacles and the queen of swords in reverse, the way you've been holding on to them and how they fit in your life has really been taking away from you. Okay, it really hasn't been benefiting you. Um, for some, it's really been holding you back because it's taken up too much space. It's taken up way too much space. So some of you will be cutting this person out completely. Others of you will just be changing how you deal with them, like going from, they're my hubby, they're my wifey, to they're just my friend. <laughs> or they're just, they're, they're just someone I work with or whatever. I feel like it's actually taking it down as far as significance or importance or prioritizing it, which I don't think is a bad thing. It gives you more space to focus on you, right? And what you have to do for you. Over energy, we have King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Ooh, and then we've got the Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. Oh, yep, there we go. Hierophant in reverse. Taurian energy. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely there's an ending here. There's definitely an ending of a contract or ending of some kind of uh, re relationship here. So like I said, a lot of you will be cutting this person out. Some of you will just be demoting them. <laughs> I don't know the way to say it. Demoting them as far as their importance in your life here. Because at the end of the day, they're not giving emotionally. They're not giving to you what you expect, what you need, what you want out of the situation. Because you also realize whatever you wanted it to be is not in your highest good. So that's that's ending. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. That flow of abundance is going to come in. Once you demote this person or cut this person out, let go of that ideal that you thought was really in your highest good, which it's not, you will go through your cleansing. You'll go through your clearing. And there's going to be a lot more space available to you. And abundance will come in. Abundance will come in. A new start will come in. Stability will come in. Okay? 
All right, Pisces. So let's break this energy down a little bit. This is a great reading. I love this. I mean, I know it's like, that's not fun. <laughs> I know that energy is not very fun, um, but this is, this is fun energy. It's bringing you good stuff. It's bringing you good stuff. Let me get some water first. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Since all this neck and back stuff started, I've been doing so much stretching. So much stretching and it's just like, oh man, I just, we just got to write it out apparently. Mm. Okay. Let's look at the moon in reverse. I'm use crystal for this one. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Pisces. Oh, regarding love. Oh no, I'm dazily. <laughs> one thing after another. Now I'm lazily. Hold on. Oh, okay. So I have the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love. I swear it only happens during readings. It only happens during readings now. Very short sure in the nasal chakra. So I have the moon in reverse for Pisces. So I'm gonna have a moon in Gemini. It's coming in really strong. So I have the moon in reverse. Oh, what did I say? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is abundance. This is long haul stability, security. This is the abundance that you know you can have and that you know you want for yourself. But you're realizing the way it looks, the way you thought it was supposed to be. Oh, come back. Uh, needs to change because you're holding on to something. Again, it feels like an idea wrapped around a connection, wrapped around another person uh, that really doesn't work for you. It's not going to bring you the ultimate happiness or the ultimate security in the way that you think it will. And you're realizing that. Oh, yep. Magician in reverse. Not able to manifest it. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. You're realizing you can't manifest this with this person in the way that you need to or the way that you want to because they're hell bent on what it is for them and you're realizing whatever their ten of pentacles ten of cups is for them is not the way it is for you i know i know it is what it is i know but it's important to recognize that it's so important to recognize that because once you demote them or cut them out or cut out that idea of what it is you want with them abundance will come in and stability will come in talk about the moon in reverse Talk about the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Talk about the moon in reverse for Pisces regarding love. Okay, so now we've got, ooh, yuck. Holy shit. Seven of swords, Aquarian energy, and then the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Oh, yeah, no. The, yeah, no. The way that you have been holding on to this person or the idea of what what you want with them. And some of you, I got to be honest, Pisces might have put this person on a pedestal. You might have put in your head, not put in your head, but you might have made them up to be something that they're not like grander than they really are. And at the end of the day, they can't deliver on your dream or your dreams are just too different. With that seven of swords and lovers in reverse, like this connection has been, I don't want to even say, I don't want to use the word sabotage, but that's what this is. I mean, Seven of Swords, it can be deceit, it can be lies. I just feel like a connection has been sabotaged because it's been put on a higher pedestal than it should have been. It's been overly focused in a way that it was never meant to be. You know what I mean, Pisces? I'm sorry. I know that sounds really harsh, but I don't know another way to say it. It's been overly fantasized. Overly fantasized or just made to be something that it's not. Overall energy, we have two of swords. Wow. Holy shit. With the ace of cups. And then we have the high priestess. This is Piscean energy. For me as a reader, it's Gemini. And with the two of swords, it's having to make that decision, right? About love. Having to make that, that decision about your heart because your intuition is telling you everything you need to know. Everything you need to know about this situation. Some of you might have really... Um, held on to this person so much and made them to be something that they're so not that you didn't realize at the end of the day that maybe they're not the greatest human being either. 
that's definitely for some of you. With that Magician Universe and the Seven of Swords, that usually indicates manipulation and deceit. Yeah, some of you, this was a connection that was meant to help you in some way. You made it grander than it really was supposed to be. Others, you met someone and... I don't want to say you overly fantasize, but I mean, I guess I already said it. You made them out to be a really amazing person. And at the end of the day, they were a manipulator. That's for some of you. And again, take all these energies as they resonate because they're not going to be for everybody. But I'm just picking up on different things for different people. Because look, I mean, this is someone with the King of Cups in reverse that could not emotionally deliver. They couldn't for whatever reason or another, either because they were just meant to be your friend or... They were someone who really was emotionally manipulative and you wanted them to be the amazing hubby wifey and you made them out to be that, but that's not who they really were. And you're realizing that. You're realizing that and with the two of swords and needing to make a decision on shit. I got to let this person go or demote them in my life. One or the other. One or the other. Okay. Ooh, Pisces. But like I said, once you do that and you clear that energy out, you're going to get the Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to be beautiful and you're going to be just fine, okay? So let's kind of look at the Page of Pentacles attached to the Lover's card here. Mm. We'll do Radiant-wise. Okay. Do I have the Page of Pentacles? Do I have the Page of Pentacles? Pisces. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love. <laughs> I love these cards. The Radiant Wise deck, by the way, if you guys ever want it, it's amazing. I do love it. Uh, but sometimes, because of the finishing on the cards, they don't like to like stay on my hand too well. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love. I'm not taking those, that's too many. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Pisces. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that Two of Swords again. Libra energy, moon and Libra to be specific. And then we have the judgment in reverse, which is fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Like I said, you're looking at this person in a new in a new way, okay? You're looking at this connection in a new way, trying to see it for what it really is, right? Um, with judgment in reverse, it's, it's basically realizing that shit, maybe I made a mistake, okay? Maybe I made a mistake about this person. Maybe I really need to let this person go. Maybe I need to let this connection fall out of my life. That's what the energy is. You're, you're feeling a little conflicted about it, though. It doesn't make you feel good. But the more your intuition is talking to you about it, the more you're realizing that really is the better choice. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love. Over energy, page of wands, yeah, mm-hmm, ten of cups in reverse, Piscean energy, then we've got the death card, scorpionic energy, yeah, Pisces, you could have children with this person too, by the way, we got two pages, not necessarily, um, but two pages usually indicate children are involved, I'm just letting you guys know if you need that confirmation, but with page of wands, that's the news, right, that's the news, that's the information, and with the ten of cups in reverse and the death card, you're basically coming to terms with the truth of it, that this is not my ten of cups, this person is not going to bring me my Ten of Cups. It's not going to bring me my Ten of Pentacles. I really thought that was it. That was who I wanted. That was my dream. I really thought that that was the end all be all. And the truth of it is that was their dream. And we don't have the same dream. We don't have the same idea of what our Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles should be. And this person is not exactly uh, stepping up to the plate as far as trying to make it so. And then Death Card. Letting it end. A lot of you, this is cutting this person out of your life or cutting out the idea of having this person be a certain way in your life. And like I said, a lot of you, some of you could just be demoting them. 
to a friend status or to a very casual acquaintance, but you're definitely taking them out of a priority. They're, they're not going to be a priority to you anymore. The idea of it with them is not going to be a priority to you anymore. And that death card is indicating that cleansing energy that I was talking about before, where it's like, this is going to allow you to go through a death process to be cleansed, to have this Ace of Pentacles energy and abundance come into your life. Okay. And this Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in verse, it's just that same energy that I was talking about before. Cutting this person out, cutting out the idea of it, um, or just demoting them because with the Five of Pentacles energy, this person doesn't make you feel good. This person actually makes you feel very stifled as far as your abundance and stability is concerned. Like you can never quite attain it. And it's a very sobering reality, but it's just the truth and you're not afraid to do it. You're gonna, you're gonna be conflicted for a little while, but once you make that choice to just cut... They're going to get the Ace of Pentacles and it's going to be beautiful, Pisces. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. A shorter reading than I expected for you guys, but it's very clear cut and I think it's great energy. I think it's very positive. I think it's very, very positive. And like I said, you know, we've all been there and it's like no judgment. It happens. Sometimes we want people to be better than they really are. Uh, sometimes people are truly snakes and we still see the good in them. And Pisces, you're you're very optimistic. You're eternal optimist. And you're also, you know, you're dreamers. You're Pisces. You know, you're Neptune, right? Um, and that's a beautiful aspect of you guys. But yeah, sometimes it leads you down the garden path a little bit. And that's okay. We've all done it. But you're seeing how this person really needs to be in your life and what their purpose in your life really was or was really supposed to be. And you're making changes accordingly to put them in their place according to how they're supposed to be in your life, you know? Uh, and then you're going to get this. And that's going to be awesome. All right, so let's get some Oracle cards. I'm going to do the Goddess deck. What energies would be beneficial for my Piscean's to harness regarding this spread? What energies would be beneficial for my Piscean's to harness regarding this spread? What energies would be beneficial for my Pisceans to harness regarding this spread? What energies would be beneficial for my Pisceans to harness? Ooh, Athena, inner wisdom. There's a high priestess energy, Pisces, which again is your major arcana card. Also Gemini for me as a reader, but your intuition is telling you everything you need to know. You realize it now. You understand now that you wanted this person in a way that they were never meant to be in your life. And that is okay. Because recognizing that and allowing the healing to happen and cutting them away and going through this death process, you're going to have a rebirthing process, a part of that. You're going to be cleansed and you will have abundance and you will eventually get to your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, that really does serve your highest good. Okay? You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Let's see what else wants to come out. What other energies would be beneficial for my Pisceans to harness regarding this spread? Ooh, very nice, very nice. Ooh, okay, you guys got a couple more. We have Aphrodite, inner goddess. And keep in mind, gods, you can use these cards too. You can use these energies too. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. And then we have, ooh, I haven't seen this one before. Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. You know, Pisces, some of you might have been sacrificing opportunities because of this person. Because you've been so stuck or hell-bent on having this turn out a certain way or look a certain way, uh, you might have not been allowing yourself to receive from other people, okay? Um, but allowing people to give to you in whatever capacity is healthy, right? <laughs> whatever capacity is healthy uh, will really, really help you quite a bit here. And I also like making you more comfortable with receiving. So if you have an issue receiving, so you have an issue feeling comfortable with receiving from other people. And I think that's why you were hell bent on doing that with this person because I don't think they were giving to you. Sorry, Pisces, let's go there. I don't think they were giving to you. 
I can hear somebody go, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, maybe it's just a pattern of yours that you were, you know, that developed out of childhood, a pattern that has been enabled through many relationships. And I think that's why you hold on to this person because it was, there was something about it that was familiar um, and you understood that dynamic of how to deal with someone who doesn't give. But you've grown a lot, Pisces, and it's okay to receive. It's okay to receive. It's okay to expect that. It's okay to want that. And it's also okay to have that standard of, no, you need to give to the situation. <laughs> I'm not going to stick around when somebody's not going to give anymore, right? That's growth. And then overall, we have, ooh, interesting. Damara, guiding children. And it's funny, we had the two pages come up. Some of you, this definitely involves children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Okay, I like that one, Pisces. That's definitely not for everybody. <laughs> Definitely not for everybody, but it's also an energy of assisting those who are innocent. Ooh, assisting those who are innocent, assisting those who are not are who are not jaded. Okay, assisting those who are very naive or even ignorant and easy pickings, easy prey. It doesn't always have to be children. Okay. Oh, Pisces. All right, so let's go in order alphabetical. That'd be Aphrodite first. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I was like, what letter comes first? Oh yeah, P. Duh. All right. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Allow your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner femininity that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to become aware of, take excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. Balance your male energy with more female energy. Take steps to heal your sexuality. Enjoy being feminine. Dance more. Be receptive. Oh, receptivity again. In relationships, allow your softer side to come forward. Don't hide your femininity. Dress in a more feminine way, for example. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of passion and love who's associated with the planet Venus. Aphrodite's name means foam born. As legend says that she sprang from her father Uranus's castrated genitals, which were cast into the ocean. Thus, Aphrodite represents unabashed female sexual energy. Aphrodite helps women feel comfortable with their bodies and sexuality. She helps both genders to experience more passion in their relationships and to become more balanced as far as individual male fem female energy is concerned. Okay, so this is really nice because I feel like it goes hand in hand with the Thor. And like I said, I've never actually seen this one come up yet. Every time I use this deck, I'm like, did they just magically create a new card in this deck? I'm sure they have it. I'm sure they have not, but it's just funny when that happens. Um, to be more receptive and really have, have that standard of I am worth being given to, right? I am worth receiving love. I am worth receiving what is in my highest good and what my true Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles is. I don't have to settle and conform to someone else's idea of it. I, I, I understand that it, that no one, that not everyone will match up to what it is I need, but I definitely deserve to receive what it is will, that will make me happy. Okay. I know my words were all over the place with that one. <laughs> I don't know what's with my words lately. I've been very, very fatigued since I got back from, from the island. Um, I'm still very jet lagged. So I'm pushing through. I'm pushing through. So just hang in there with me. But let's go ahead and do Athena. <laughs> okay. Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. I'm happy to assist you. However, you'll be most thrilled when you first consult your own inner bank of knowledge. For I assure you that the situation is already resolved and that you have access to all the wisdom that the, uni that the universe supplies. To access this wisdom, you must quiet your mind. Surrender all worries and other concerns to the loving and almighty power of the universe. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Close your eyes and note the thoughts and feelings that come streaming into your consciousness. If you like, you can ask me to give you a signal that you've heard your inner wisdom correctly, but have faith. I assure you that you have heard and that the guidance brings you and your loved ones very good news indeed. Stop procrastinating. Stop giving away your power to others. Trust your gut. Don't second guess yourself. You are correct. Notice recurring ideas and take action on them. Athena is a powerful and wise Grecian goddess who oversees and protects those who call upon her. She's the daughter of Zeus and her power animals are white owls and black pigeons. 
Although Athena is a warrior goddess, she does battle with wits instead of weapons. You can call upon her for resolving disputes and also for protection. In addition, Athena helps with creative projects such as writing, arts, and crafts. Like I said, it's just that high priestess energy of deep down you already really know. You already really know what you have to do and what you have to clear out of your life and who, clearly, or whatever idea attached to this person is that you have to clear out of your life in order for abundance to start flowing in again, okay? All right, so let's read Damara and then we'll read Hathor. I feel like Hathor is going to really resonate a lot for you guys. Let's see. Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. One can be gentle and fierce protector simultaneously. My vigilant focus on keeping harmony within households stems from my desire for children to maintain their youthful awe and sense of wonder. How else will we ensure that they'll see and speak with the fairies? How else will we foster the continuation of children's healing laughter? Join with me in guiding the children and you'll see your own imagination sparked by these amazing young beings. Your own enthusiasm and youthful spirit attracts the children's respect and attention. I'll lead you toward young people who can benefit from your help. Spend time with or have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your own children. Get into a career involved with helping kids. Volunteer with young people. Know that children will be coming into your life soon. You will be a parent. Take care of your own child through play and laughter. A Celtic fertility goddess whose name means gentle. Damar helps to bring peace and harmony to families other than households. She helps children maintain their youthful innocence and faith. Damar is happy to guide you with respect to the best way to help children, yours or someone else's. Like I said, some of you might have kids with this person, okay? Because we did get a couple pages out of out here. And some of you are realizing that your issue with receiving which came up in a couple of these cards, um, allowing yourself to receive, understanding that that everyone deserves to receive might stem from childhood. And you might need to do some inner child work there with this death process, with this cleansing process, okay? All right, now let's do a Thor and then we'll get into the animal spirit cards, spirit animal cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm Yoda today, apparently, okay. Hathor, receptivity. Allow your, yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. You have a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need, yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. It's exactly what this whole reading is about. Receiving is the essence of feminine energy, and it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when asking others for help, or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just a natural is just as natural as your nurturing giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day. Whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one, simply say, "Thank you for each gift and I know they're filling up your storehouse. Keep keeping the divine flow going strong." Be still and listen. Release guilt about receiving. Ask for help. Increase psychic awareness. Know what you're in a learning. Know what you're in a learning site. What? Okay, that's not right. That's not proper grammar. They messed up. Know what you're in a learning cycle. Oh, okay. I see what they're trying to say. Know what you're actually learning when you're within a cycle. <laughs> Healing is occurring. Be more in your feminine energy. Child conception, pregnancy, or birth, including adoption or favorable custody arrangements, are issues in your life. This beloved Egyptian goddess is represented by the head of a cow to symbolize the sacred animal li animal's life-giving milk and mothering. Hathor is a benevolent sky and sun goddess who helps with all aspects of child conception, birthing, and raising. Call upon Hathor to guide you in nurturing yourself and your loved ones. Oh, I love that energy. I love the energy. It's okay to receive Pisces. It's okay. I also get from this to be grateful for the purpose that this person played in your life. Some of you was just to learn a lesson about people who don't treat you well and that putting them on a pedestal is, you know, unhealthy and to recognize when you do that. For some of you, that's the whole point of what this person, like of the purpose they served in your life, okay? Others, they were meant to be a friend or... A helping hand in some way or just to, to teach you something in a casual relationship and then you made it more than it was or you made them to be out more than they were supposed to be for you but to still be grateful for the fact that they were there and that you learned from it and I know sometimes that's hard especially because some of you might have been really hurt by this person or hurt by the the fact that um hurt by the truth 
that they're not really your ten of cups, ten of pentacles, that you're not, that they're not the end all be all for you. So you're gonna be hurt with that. So you might have a trouble dealing with that when you're going through your clearing process, your cleansing process. But to still be grateful that they were there because it taught you something, right? I know that's not the easiest thing to do. Trust me. I've been there. Not the easiest thing to do. Okay, so let's pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck and then we'll wrap it up, Pisces. It's going to make a second video in like a minute. I'm going to try to watch it after I get a sip of coffee because your girl is tired. Mm. Mm. Oh, caffeine, help me, help me, help me. Okay. <laughs> okay, Pisces. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans? Where are we at? Okay. Just want to make sure. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? That's too many, Spirit. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Ooh, very nice. Crow Spirit, co-create with Spirit, 17 breaking down to an 8. Like I said, Spirit wants you to have your 10 of Cups, your 10 of Pentacles. But you also have to understand that if you want to manifest that, that you have to let go of what doesn't get you there. That you have to let go of the people. Or the idea of being with someone in a certain way, right? The epitome of what we have going on here, uh, that won't get you there. Let go of all that. Let go of that person to allow this. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Made a second video. Uh, let go of that person. Let go of that idea. That idea that they are your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. And you'll have the space to start manifesting your true Ten of Cups, your true Ten of Pentacles. And Spirit's just waiting to give you this ace. They're just waiting. You just need the space, literally, for this to come into your life, okay? This is going to come into your life in different ways. It could be a windfall of money. It could be a new opportunity at work or a new opportunity uh, to build something or even a move. Sometimes this represents a move. It also represents inheritance. Whatever it is, it's going to come into your lives in different ways, but it is waiting there. <laughs> it is waiting to come in, but you need to make the space for it, okay? Any other advice for my Pisceans? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, very nice. We have Lizard Spirit, which is a manifestation energy. Dream the world into being, 38 breaking down to an 11, and White Raven Spirit, trust and magic, energy of 66. I love that we have both of these here, the Crow and the White Raven. I mean, does that just not scream yin-yang, masculine, feminine energy with the manifestation energy right in the middle? I love seeing that. Uh, with Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being, it's about conceptualizing conceptualizing your manifestation. Like I said, you guys have been stuck on having a certain idea come to light or like having a certain idea come to fruition, okay, is what I meant to say. Um, this person and me, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, that sort of thing. You've been stuck on that, but you need to trust that it's not working out because it's not in your highest good. Spirit really wants to work with you in this. Spirit wants to get you to your true Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, but you gotta let go of this first because it's not a manifestation that's in your highest good. When we try to manifest something that we think is best for us or something that makes us happy and it doesn't happen, sometimes people get frustrated and they just keep trying that same thing. It hasn't happened because it's not meant for you or it really is not going to serve you in a good way, okay? And sometimes we need the divine to step in and help us out with that and make us realize that. And that just is what it is sometimes. And that's okay. All right, let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Ooh. Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Ant spirit, time to collaborate, energy of one. Remember, a lot of this uh, communication we got regarding the goddess cards was about receptivity. You got an ace of pentacles trying to come in here. There could be people attached to this 
that spirit wants to put in your life to make sure that you work with them, uh, build with them, because that will get you to your true Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But there have been people that some of you have been uh, not pursuing any opportunities with because you've been so focused on this person or so, so focused on this idea of having to be with this person or build with this person. And so it's asking you to trust that, hey, we're not allowing that to happen for you because it's not in your highest good. Let that person go. Let that idea go. Create enough space so we can give you an opportunity that works. So we can give you someone that will want to build with you in the way that you need them to and build you to your true Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. They're right on the other side of this and it'll come in really fast. So you just have to make the space i like it and then overall we have wombat spirit be at home this is about being comfortable with yourself pisces and understanding what you're what what um you're deserving of some of you really struggle with a little with uh self-worth okay some of you struggle with self-worth and um just being treated right you know and that's okay we all go through that we all go through that but this is an energy of five yes five sorry my brain is so slow because i'm tired energy of five so change and transformation some of you might actually be changing your home as well your home environment some of you might have lived with this person or maybe were you were trying to build a home with this person you got to be comfortable in yourself first before anyone else can be comfortable with you right um building up confidence to stand up for yourself as well pisces getting a little bit of a boundary some of you have been working on setting your boundaries with people that's getting you stronger and getting you to understand the truth of needing to let go of this person and this idea of being with this person or dealing with this person. But this is about being comfortable within yourself and working on yourself, focusing on you, okay? Focusing on you first and foremost. Yeah, this is trying to come in. It's trying really hard to come in. Just make the space, Pisces, and I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Spirit is trying so hard to work with you, but you got to let go of the stuff that's not working. Just make the space. Just make the space. Okay? All right, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram, and I will see you guys later, okay? Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.